Hey, this is Dirk Verbieren from Megadeth giving you some sound advice. All right, folks, so today I want to talk a little bit about how to spice up your drum fills. And as an example, I'm going to show you a fill that I play in a Megadeth song called Life in Hell, which is taken from the latest Megadeth album, The Sick, The Dying and The Dead. Uh, let me play the fill for you. So that fill is in the beginning and the end of the song. It's kind of a, a little theme throughout. And um, I think what's interesting about it is that it has a lot of dynamics to it. And uh, so I'm going to explain a little bit how I approach that kind of dynamic playing. One of the things that I do is play a lot with the volumes between the hits. So especially in the beginning half of the fill, instead of playing all the volumes loud or like every hit loud, I bring in some softer hits as well. So if I break it down, it'll sound something like this. And what makes it interesting is that there's a grouping underneath the notes, the cadence of the notes. So you'll have 16th notes. It's basically a fill that's all in 16th notes. But within those 16 notes, instead of sticking to groupings of four, which would be the logical count like one, three, four, something like that, Instead, I'm going to bring in groups of three notes. So that gives the fill an underlying rhythm motive that's kind of outside of where it naturally would be. And it gives it what Gary Chester would call a rhythmic melody. Um, so the three over four is kind of the most basic polyrhythm that you can use um, in a case like that. Of course, there are many different variations, but it's a good one to start with. And a good way you can practice it is by simply doing a four count on your hi-hat and then playing alternated strokes on the snare drum with an accent on every third stroke, which means you're going to have a loud hit on the right, a soft hit on the left, a soft hit on the right, then a loud hit on the left, soft hit on the right, soft hit on the left. So it's always loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, soft, but the hands are going to alternate. Something like this. One. So again, I want to emphasize that it's alternated sticking and I'll play it more slowly. One, two, three, four. So now if you move that around on the kit and for example, place the accents on different elements instead of just keeping them on the snare, you can end up with a fill like the one I was showing you. So I'll give you an example of how you can practice that. One, two, three, four. So there you go, that's kind of the basis of the idea. So the three over four grouping, the dynamic hits, put all that together. And then from there you get creative. You try to spice up your fills and bring some more color and variation to them. And as a sideline to this, I also want to highlight a typical Megadeth fill, typical in the sense that it was used quite a bit on the first two albums by drummer Gar Samuelson, the late and great drummer on those first two albums. And he had this very um, kind of unique fill that he did where he applies this exact same idea between the crash and the kick together and then the snare. So I'll play the fill or the idea of the fill slowly and then I'll show you how it is in full speed. Here we go. So a little bit less dynamics involved there. It's more, you know, full on power as you would expect in thrash metal, right? <laughs> but uh, so the idea is again the same. It's a grouping of three over four. So you got to imagine like, you know, that the tempo would be something like this and then And so if you play it like faster, it becomes quite intricate sounding and cool. So 
So again, I'll alternate it hits and, you know, switching it up between kick and cymbal together. It can be any cymbal, could be your hi-hat, whatever. And then two snare hits in between. It's kind of a movement you have to get used to. But yeah, the first time I ever heard that personally was Gar Samuelson doing it on the p Cells album by Megadeth. And so I've tried to incorporate some of that in my current playing as well. So you'll find some of that also in the same song, Life in Hell, that I was talking about earlier. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Heaven's Rules. This was Sound Advice with Dirk Verbuen from Megadeth. See ya.